Well, we continue our build-up to uh, the opener for the uh, South and Stags and the Mitre 10 Cup, of course, taking on Hawke's Bay on uh, Sunday afternoon from 4.35. Here is the Stags co-captain, Flynn Thomas, is with us. Uh, mate, obviously, it's one of the stories of the year, your elevation into uh, into that role. I know it probably wasn't uh, part of the plan. I know it's something that you thought long and hard about, but uh, you're getting used to the idea now, sort of a, a week after that announcement? Um, to be honest, I'm, I'm not really used to it yet. Uh, I'm not really used to having a be the one that stands up and, and talks to the boys. I'm sort of just used to the, being the one sitting in the bleachers listening to the to the leaders speak. So it, it, it's a bit of a change that I'm uh, you're slowly adjusting to this to this uh, new role that I've had to take on. Yeah, good stuff, man. Hey, hey uh, well, congratulations on it. I should say that uh, formally as well, too. Uh, you know, you know. I mean, uh, uh, tell us a little bit about the thought process that went through, because you know, th- there was um, some discussion and some of the comments, obviously, that you've made uh, since that you did want to consider, you know, the role, because it's obviously come up and been hoisted on you a little bit ca- earlier than you anticipated in your career. Yeah, no, it, it definitely had. Um, I was a bit, I was a bit shocked when I got approached to, to take on the role. Initially, I was, I was very sceptical about it because obviously I'm only 20 years old and I, I've only played 10 games and eight of them were off the bench. So experience was definitely a big factor in it and age as well. Um, yeah, I did think long and hard about it. I made quite a few phone calls to, to various people and in all honesty, I was probably looking for a reason not to because I, I had felt like I didn't deserve the role just yet. I thought that I hadn't earned the right to be able to lead the boys, but um, I ran my old first of being coach, Peter Scout, and I was expecting him to say, no, don't take it, you're not ready yet, but then the, the phone went silent once I asked him, and then he just said, just go for it. So that was probably yeah, the one thing that changed my mind on the situation, and yeah, looking at it now, like it, it's, a, it's a great opportunity, and I felt that it would take more courage to take on the role than to walk away from it, so... Yeah, I'm not entirely sure if I made the right decision, but we'll see how it goes. So. Oh, I made it. Run with it. I don't think there's too much doubt that you uh, that you have, you know, and you've got Scaldi's endorsement, so there you go. That that uh, yeah, that no yeah. question goes uh, yeah, goes a long way. How, how have the boys been? You know, you know, in terms of it, how have you, you know how have they uh, how have they responded? Oh, they've actually been quite helpful. I did think that yeah, if I was to step up and phone them and, and talk to the boys around certain things that they wouldn't take it that seriously, but everyone's been. Everyone's been really good to me. They've all jumped on board and, and supported me. I think they know that I'm sort of in the deep end as well, so they're, yeah, they're doing the best they can to, to help me adjust to the role. I mean, obviously, you know, in terms of Braden Mitchell's injury, you know, our, uh, you know, our thoughts obviously go out to, to him, and, and, and gutting as that is, I guess, you know, from your point of view, though, there's a real resource there, you know, not just uh, from a front row uh, club point of view, but but also in terms of from that leadership uh, potential that you can, you know, along with uh, that, ex- that that leadership group that you've no doubt got, and James Wilson, obviously, as your co-captain. So there's a bit of, you know, there's, there's a good, I guess, support structure wrapped around you too, which you must feel good about. Yeah, absolutely. That was probably one one thing that I did consider as well. That was a that was a real big positive for me. Like, um, Braden still comes into training every day, and he's he's willing to do what his part for the team, even though he can't participate fully. So every day, I'm looking to him for advice as well. Like, if we're doing a line out session and we're not quite sure on a movement or how we should throw the ball in, I just look to him and say, "Look, Scratcher, what would what would you do?" Because he's obviously got a lot more experience than me, and I'm still just trying to chip away at his at his mind as well. So, yeah, he's he's unreal to have on the team, not just for me, but for everyone else as well. And he's definitely yeah, helping me out. Good stuff, mate. Hey, listen, well, let's get on the park now, you know, and that's what you'll be doing, of course, on Sunday up against uh, the Magpies. I mean, talk us through, you know, what your specific feeling is, you know, in terms of how things have come together over the last couple of weeks. Um, well, from training from. Yeah, so I'm showing up this morning to training. Um, there's a really good vibe in, in amongst the boys. Like, uh, I don't think we had that at all last year. Like, everyone's excited. Everyone's ready to get out there and get stuck into it. Like, we've had you know, three weeks of pre-season of just getting absolutely thrashed. So everyone's excited that it's finally uh, it's finally go time. So, yeah, I'm, I'm sure the boys will be rearing, rearing, rearing to go so. Um, come game time Sunday. It seems like one of the themes that I'm hearing, you know, I talked to Tony Lamborn just, uh, you know, earlier as well too, and he's saying the same thing. I mean, you guys are uh, putting each other through the ringer from a training point of view, eh? You're not, a, you're not afraid to obviously get physical because that's unquestionably, I guess, one of the areas that uh, you'd probably look to uh, that, uh, you know, probably needed a bit of a step up year on year, eh? Yeah, I think so. Like, we're sort of trying to raise the, the standard of training this year and 
we're trying to hold each other to more account for our actions at training. So that's definitely one thing is we don't do too much contact. We haven't done much lately, but yeah, when we do, we're, um, we're full on. And if we can beat each other up, then hopefully we can beat the opposition up as well. So that's, that's our mindset on it. And a good one too. Hey, listen, Flynn, uh, congratulations on that appointment again, mate. Uh, really stoked for you uh, and uh, looking forward to, to seeing it uh, over the course of the uh, season as well. Go well on the uh, on the weekend and uh, we'll keep in touch during the uh, season, eh? Uh, cheers, mate. Thank you very much for that.